Okay, YouTubers, uh, this is uh, my video on uh, how to fix your Xbox uh, remote. Um, I think it's pretty familiar remote to everybody. Uh, the problem with this remote control is that uh, uh, the buttons all work and uh, you, you see a flashing of the LED um, on the uh, reception, uh, but on the receiver, but uh, nothing happens. And you're wondering, well, what's going on? Is it the Xbox or is it the remote? Well, the solution to this was it actually turned out for me to be the uh, remote. And uh, basically, you need to get the remote open first, and uh, I can show you the problem here. Uh, there's, the remote is quite easy to get open. There's a, a, a little uh, insert for a screwdriver here, which will prise open that side. And uh, you can also find another little slot here, uh, which you can prise open. And then the best thing to do is work around the edges with a knife to prise open. Uh, and you can see some release points where the uh, I've released it off. Um, there's there's no way of sort of stopping the plastic getting buried. Uh, but uh, you you work around the, uh, the the box itself, and obviously you take out the uh, batteries in the battery compartment. So the remote will open quite quick easily after that. Um, so uh, you just off the lid here and uh, obviously you've got the rubber tactile pad pad with the uh, carbon uh, inserts on to make the contacts uh, these might be worth cleaning at the same time while you're here if you've got a faulty little button it's good to clean these and uh, probably also clean the actual contacts on the uh, PCB uh, you can see those little uh, black deposited items on the printed circuit board so uh, going back to our initial problem, um, basically I, I I found that this was firing. Um, basically, I fired it. At, uh, you know, the uh, I pointed the remote at a TV and actually it responded. But obviously, uh, it shows that the infrared part is working. Uh, but there's clearly something wrong. Um, and the actual problem for me was down here, where I'll take the printer circuit board out. I think the actual problem is one of these capacitors is, has leaked and you can see that uh, electrolytic capacitor the black with the black with the white stripe and you can see that there's a deposit material that's come out the bottom and I, th I think that's failed um, there's no point in putting another electrolytic in just for it to fail again and I don't think the electrolytic is really that good it's probably <laughs> overkill for this little tiny little chip that's on here uh, so my solution really was actually to add my own little capacitor onto the chip and uh, add a ground wire back from it. So I hope you can see that on the camera here, and that's the best view there. So you can see I've stood a capacitor up off the pin of the IC, and then the top, the green wire, is actually going back to the zero volts of the battery. So in circuit terms, Basically, we're looking at this kind of circuit. U1 is the IC, and you can see pin 6. And the capacitor we've actually added is this tiny little one here uh, to the circuit. And um, basically, this worked. Um, you can get the um, you can get the uh, capacitor replacement from any other electronic device. Um, I think I actually got mine one off a phone, but here's a here's a USB uh flash old flash stick card and you can see some of the components these little brown ones here that one there where my thumb is this one here is a little capacitor it doesn't really matter about the value the value is not too important you just want something like that that's a nice one that's, you can handle that one the other ones are quite small so you will need some tweezers for uh, soldering this and you have to be quite uh, delicate or with your soldering I mean if anything it's going to improve your soldering but uh, you can see again like I say let me just get that in focus it's quite hard to focus with the camera you can see how that stood off okay and again this wire here the, the green wire that runs back to that point on the PCB is on the circuit this is the green wire running back okay so basically you, you've inserted a capacitor to replace the black electrolytic that's on the other side. And this capacitor will last a lot longer. Um, it won't leak and uh, it'll provide the uh, high frequency decoupling 
that you require for that chip to operate. Clearly the switching transients in this, this, this chip are either a little bit noisy or just just need that extra boost uh, when they dis so the capacitor discharges into the uh, into the um, the IC when it demands current. So basically, this is a better solution than probably changing that. Um, and so you could probably almost take that out, but uh, I wouldn't bother. Just leave it in and uh, do this this fix here. Uh, just for um, clarity's sake, let's have a look at the IC. So. I've said it's pin six down here uh, on this on this IC. Um, let's just check and show you that, that what this chip actually looks like in number terms. Uh, if I can turn on the magnifying glass. There you can see those are the numbers on the chips. So just make sure you got the right chip. Um, I don't know whether Sony did any other uh, different. Uh, or Xbox people did any other di different chips, but those were the chip numbers on my um, IC. So, if you've got a different IC number, you might have to clarify whether that pin is the right one. If they if they did different versions, um, but again, yeah, starting with pin one is actually here, and if you go one, two, three, four, five, six. On the eye, there, that's that's where the uh, decoupling capacitor is. is uh, so, and that was it. And then it it works fine after that. Uh, so hopefully uh, this will uh, work for a few other uh, Xbox remotes, and uh, it might even work actually on um, any other remotes where basically these remotes are so cheap uh, that the decoupling IC, the decoupling sort of capacitors. Uh, will f eventually fail, so um, it's a good one to look out for, um, and it might 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 help you with uh, other uh, uh, other devices. Um, but that's it. So rather than throw it in the in the bin or think it's not working, uh, have a go with that. And uh, obviously, like I say, clean the contacts. It's worth it while you're here. Um, once you've prized it open, and then uh, put it back, and hopefully everything will be working for you. Okay, thank you very much.